Hi guys! Have you noticed that almost all flags except for Nepal have a boring shape? Today I want to change their design a bit and give them an unusual shape. And I'll start with the flag of Canada. We remove the unnecessary right strip, rotate the maple leaf 90 degrees, remove the axis. And the new design of the flag of Canada is ready. Now just look at the flag of Guyana. They took and simply shoved the triangles into a rectangle. I'll fix it. Move the red down, yellow up. I also make the background a triangle. Wow, this is much more interesting. I think the flag makers are mocking me. It seems their only task is to shove a triangle into a rectangle. We remove the right triangle, we don't need it. We'll also temporarily remove the yellow color, increase the left one to its full length, add small green triangles on the side. And most importantly, add a yellow stroke. By the way, did you know that there's no such combination of colors on any other flag? Another interesting flag, but it's kind of weird. What you definitely don't need to touch is the sun and the black sky. But let's take him to the fashion circle. I'll change the sea to look more like it. Now it has waves. Well, let the beach be red now, like very hot sand. The flag of Argentina is quite concise. But since this is a deity for the Argentines, they could make it bigger. I'll move it to the right. This is the end of the flag. I'll remove the axis. I think this flag would look great in the wind. Have you ever played cricket? That's unlikely, but in Australia it is a favorite spot. So I decided to put their flag on a cricket bat. I'll move the stars a little so that everyone fits in. And I'll paint the handle in national colors. Looks unusual. I've always liked the flag of Barbados. It's very recognizable. But I know how to make it even more recognizable. Let's remove the trident first. Now let's rotate the flag. And we'll return the trident, but put it sideways. Let's remove the axis. And now the flag is even more beautiful. I don't know about you, but I find the Cambodian flag very boring. The only way to improve it is to make it triangular. I remove the blue stripes, in general they are too large. I make the red part triangular and make the stripes thinner. I move the building a little. And now the flag is not so boring. Now, I don't want to offend anyone, but it seems like the flag of Bosnia and Herzegovina is unfinished. First, I'll mirror it. Stretch the yellow triangle to the edge. I'll also remove the extra background. Now the flag looks more solid. The tree on the Lebanese flag has always scared me. It's too complicated. Let's make the flag more interesting. Triangular and with thin stripes. And let the tree be such that a child can draw. Here. Simple, recognizable, unusual. Just look at the colorful Seychelles flag. I would just change the direction of the stripes a bit. Now this is one of my favorite flags. Oh no, again, triangle within a rectangle. We'll fix it now. Rotate the inner shapes. We remove the axis from the background. Not bad at all. The flag of Japan cannot be called extravagant, but their military flag is very unusual. Let's first let the rays out of the sun that we have. Now remove the extra background and slightly round the edge. Now this is more interesting. Surprisingly, I have no complaints about the flag of Chile. I'll lengthen the blue square a bit. I'll remove the star and make triangles from the rectangles. Looks fresh. I think the flag of Oman needs just a little tweaking to fly better in the wind. From three stripes I will make three triangles of the same colors. And while we are at it, the symbol will be placed in the middle. It worked out very well for me. That's all for today. Write in the comments what other flags should be corrected. See you in the next video.